what is up you guys back here and I want to get my reaction to Devin Haney versus George Cambosis too and this fight was a lot different than the first time um it was still a dominating performance by Devin Haney for sure um Cambosis tried to do different things in the ring uh but uh, yeah it was yeah pretty much dominant performance um before I get started though make sure to please hit the subscribe and ring that bell and um yeah for George Cambosis, he needed to turn the fight into a dog fight. You know, make it ugly, make Haney fight. Um, he kind of switched things up uh, the way he did the first time around. He came out switching, trying to do different things, throwing out some jabs. Uh, definitely confused Haney in the first two rounds. But, you know, somebody like Devin Haney, it's hard when you have a really good smart boxer there in front of you. And able to adjust on the fly, you know, because being able to adjust on the fly in the middle of a fight is super hard. Um, you know, I, I and I get that it's crazy hard, but um, Haney did uh, the necessary adjustments, especially starting round three. Um, but I, I like the awkwardness that uh, Campos was showing him in the first two rounds. Uh, but then Haney just started taking him apart. Beautiful right hands. Um, Campos has also had success with over the top. But that's when he was throwing a little bit more, trying to make it ugly. You know, I feel like he needed to do that a little bit more. Um, you know, I just think that, you know, Devin Haney was just too much. And I don't take nothing away from Cambosis because I feel like, you know, he did his thing. He did what he had to do. He could, only did what he could do was, you know, fight the way he fights. Um, to me, for Cambosis, the best performance he ever, ever had that I've seen him um, was against Tiafimo Lopez. You know, and uh, yeah, that was his, his golden moment, winning the belt off of Tia Fimo. Um, you know, that was that was pretty much it. But fighting somebody as smart as Haney doesn't let all that stuff and the talk get to him um, the way it did to uh, Tia Fimo and his father. Um, you know, Devin Haney had beautiful rights. You know, um, I felt like I think it was either round nine or ten that it looked like Cambosis got hurt with a shot and. And Haney tried, you know. He just don't have that one-punch knockout power. Um, if he did, I think the fight would have been over. Or if he was somebody who was... I mean, because he was looking for the knockout, but it, he wasn't trying to pursue it as much, you know. Like, it's hard to explain. But um, I, I think for Devin Haney, you know, winning this fight again in his home... In the hometown of Cambosis, not once, but twice... You know, he's definitely defending that title when he comes back to the States. Um, I think for Cambosis, you know, back to the drawing board all over again. Definitely going to be at the bottom. You know, you already had the that contract that allowed you to get the rematch if you would have lost the first time, which he did. And he lost this time in dominant fashion by Devin Haney. Devin Haney was a little more aggressive this time around. He looked good. Uh, both fighters did, but Devin Haney, it was Devin Haney's night all over again. Um, he dominated him throwing a lot more punches this time around. Beautiful hooks. The job is always on point by Devin Haney. He has one of the beautiful jobs in that division. Now, I can't wait to see what he has next. Who he's going to fight next. Javante Davis. Loma. Even though Loma has a fight already, so it's kind of out the door right now. But, um, yeah. You guys let me know down in the comment section. What do you guys think of the fight? What are you guys' thoughts? And if you guys liked the video, make sure to throw those thumbs up. Really would appreciate it. I thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.